Today, I have a Ram 1500. And today, I'll be going over the features on the interior and the exterior and checking out the engine bay on this Ram 1500. As well as starting up the Ram 1500 and checking out the engine bay. As well as going over some of the main competitors of the Ram as well as trims and pricing. So let's go ahead and check it out. You have remote keyless entry. For 2013, the Ram 1500 has been slightly refreshed. So white exterior with chrome, chrome door handles and smart key access on the driver and passenger door. Beige leather interior. Power driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar. Very nice interior. You do have push button ignition, so put your foot on the brake, hit the button to start. Leather wrapped steering wheel. Six-speed automatic transmission. You have manual shiftability. You have a backup camera with guidance signs. An eight-speed automatic transmission will be available later in 2013. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. You also have fog lights and the hazards. Driver and passenger window are fully automatic on the Ram 1500. Let's go ahead and pop the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors. Halogen projector beam headlamps. LED turn signal indicators and your halogen fog lamps. Nice big chrome grill. Under the hood of the Ram 1500 you will find a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 provides very great power with this Hemi. Very, very great power. The Ram's main competitors are the Ford F-150, Chevrolet Silverado, and the GMC Sierra, as well as the Nissan Titan and the Toyota Tundra. Cameron's top recommended full-size truck for 2013 is the Ford F-150. Look at those rims, pretty nice. Your radio antenna, LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. Coming to the rear end of the Ram, you have LED turn signal indicators, LED tail lamps with dual exhaust tips, third brake light. Integrated backup camera and your rear parking sensors. Very nice exterior design.
EPA estimates are 14 city, 20 highway. Total vehicle price is $43,720, which is not that bad. Power windows, mirrors, power door locks, the chrome door handles. Nice stitching right here. Nice attention to detail in the RAM. And you do have memory seat settings for two people. Let's go ahead and rev up the Ram 1500. Let's go ahead and see how that Hemi V8 sounds. Very strong, powerful V8. Very strong V8. Material quality in the RAM is very good. You have this nice stitching, very soft to the touch. Nice and padded right here. Very padded right here. Right here is hard plastic, but right here is very soft to the touch. And uh, pretty hard plastic right here, pretty hard plastic right there. But all along this portion of the dash, of the upper um, dash, is all soft to the touch and very stitched. Cruise control, steering wheel mounted audio controls. You also have Bluetooth, voice recognition. You also have power adjustable pedals, tilt steering wheel. And the stitching is only on the higher end trim levels of the Ram 1500. Dual zone climate, your temperatures. And here's your fan speeds. Nice. Heated and cooled seats for the driver and passenger, two staged. Cup holders, 12 volt power outlet. Storage down here. Center console, very, very large, very padded as well, great armrest, nice deep center console, love center consoles and big trucks, they're so big and massive. Heated steering wheel, your rear parking sensors button, you have a tow haul mode as well, traction control, auto dimming rear view mirror, roadside assistance, garage home link. No sunroof, I'm actually very surprised. This is pretty fully loaded. Interior illumination. Here's your gauge cluster. Fuel economy data, tire pressure info, speedometer. You also have a premium audio sound system, Alpine. AM, FM, Sirius, XM satellite radio. You also can control your heated seats from um, the touchscreen. Very intuitive touchscreen. I really like this touchscreen. I actually like it better than my 4Touch. And you do have a navigation system. Very clear and easy to read. I really like this navigation system. You also have the USB port. Great touch screen. Very intuitive. Easy to use. You also can uh, run apps like Bing and Travelink through your uh, data connection on your phone. So you will need a phone if you want to run those apps.
Bluetooth streaming audio as well. All that good stuff. Very accommodating interior, like I said, with this, all this nice stitching all around and right here. It makes it feel very luxurious. Another power outlet. 115 volt. If you're looking for a very accommodating interior in a full size truck, uh, the Ram 1500 will definitely not disappoint. It's a very nice car. The seats in the Ram are also very comfortable, nice and luxurious. And we'll get in the rear seat in just a second. It's gonna, it's really massive back in the rear seat. And this, these are one of the only few trucks that actually offer push button ignition. The Ford F-150 does not offer it, or neither does the Chevrolet Silverado or GMC Sierra, or the to Toyota Tundra or Nissan Titan. This is actually the uh, first full-size truck to offer a push button ignition. And um, fine, it's about time. It's been a really long time. All right, and I'm gonna shut down the ramp. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seat. Material quality does follow through on the rear. So you have this very nice stitching all around. Back here you will find heated seats, two staged, 12 volt power outlet. And it's very, very roomy back here. Very, very roomy. You also have dual mat pockets, rear armrests with cup holders. It's just massive back here. Rear seat legroom is very good. And that Alpine audio system sounds really nice. All right. Back here you will find a pretty large cargo bed. I really like the material they use in the cargo bed. Um, it's really nice. It's not your normal uh, cargo bed material that they use in um, other trucks. It's actually a very nice material. Alrighty. Powered passenger seat with power recline and power lumbar. storage glove box compartment is damped it's very nice All and right. thank you for checking out this review of the 2013 ram 1500 if you have any questions please let me know remember this is cameron's car reviews car buying made easy